hi friends we'll understand about two events one is entry and one is leave when i am mouse is entering over this button you just see when i am in on the button it says welcome when i am coming out it says thanks similarly here is a below that there is entry when i am coming here it is saying data here and i am leaving we are not programmed it to change anything similarly what's this label when i am over this it's saying welcome when i am going out it's saying thanks similarly here you can see when i am over this button also this particular label or the message that is also changing see it is saying click this is saying if I, because i am over a button i am when i am out of this button is saying you left the button how will manage this events and how the accordingly to the wizards will change the uh, whatever the parameters on the wizard we can manage it with these events we'll learn all about this let's start from this blank template uh, we'll place a button first b1 equal to tk dot button now parent window my underscore w line number two we have declared some text will write it let's say button one now slightly bigger font we are using so font 22 now let's place it on a grid so grid now row equal is the first element so row equal to zero column equal to zero and let's give some slight pad x 10 then we are not flushing with the left edge similarly pad y from the top edge we are giving 10 so this is our button now okay let's just run it and once and see how this looks here it is the button one nothing no event is right now programmed to bind the event or to add the event we'll say b1 dot bind now within the codes now enter so one whenever whenever the mouse enters over this button b1 we are bounding a event we'll call a callback function let's say it my callback one fine so this we have not added uh, declared it we'll declare it now so whenever we place a or whenever the mouse enters over this button now let's define that function define my callback back one and this will receive event as parameter so now inside this what do you want to happen when this our mouse enters let's say let's change the message or the text written over the button so we are saying b1 dot config config or configure both are same this option we can change any parameter text or background front foreground color font color size anything can be all the parameters can be changed now let's change the text is whatever written is so we'll say welcome fine so this is happens but what happens is when mouse enters but we have not changed when it will uh, reflect the changes let's see let's run this code and see how this works so let's uh, I think previous window is not closed let me close this and open again here it is now when i coming here you see it is became welcome but when i'm going out also it remains because we have not programmed the uh, mouse out event so leave event for that now let's add that now for that what you will do will just let me just copy this line place it here enter I, in this place of enter i am saying leave leave whenever the mouse leaves now i am calling callback to because another function I am writing now where what I will do I will just copy this paste it here now call back to another function this function now text is uh, thanks or whatever text you want to write you can write it and it is not that the only this suppose I want to make it the whenever the leap the background should be green b is equal to or let's pre put it gray and here whenever the mouse enters the bg or the background background is light green let's see how these changes are reflecting whenever because now both is programmed when the mouse enters and when the mouse leaves the bottom so let's just write okay here it is see welcome now whenever i am leaving thanks now this is what has happened to it now let us uh, try in another widget we'll add one entry here so we'll say e1 or our entry equal to tk dot entry my underscore w now then we'll give a text variable text variable equal to str1 we are not yet declared we'll declare it now slightly bigger font we'll give font equal to 22 background equal to let's give yellow 
okay now we'll place it on our grid so e1 dot grid row equal to next one below the first one so row equal to one then column equal to zero so then some pad x we are giving as 10 then pad y equal to 10 okay now let's declare our string variable str1 equal to tk dot string var now some initial value we can put it entry here fine whatever you want now let's add one event to this so this time we'll say e1 e1 dot uh, uh, we are now we'll bind it e1 dot bind now we'll say and enter now here while end, uh, on giving adding this event we'll not call a callback function we'll directly give it to a uh, we'll write the code here so we'll say lambda lambda now what will pass it is a event now it to this event will say str1 dot set some data will say now data here this is the message we want to give whenever the mouse enters to that will not write a leave function because leave will means it will override what the user has entered so let's check up to this point how it looks here it is okay now enter entry here now once I bring the mouse data here we are not programmed what will happen when the mouse moves out that we are not added now let's go to another label let's add one label and see the how it the events we can add so l1 equal to tk dot label now here parent window is my underscore w now text let's write label okay now slightly bigger font will use and bz background equal to let's say green now we'll place it on our grid l1 dot grid now this is below the one so row equal to two because for entry wizard is row one so column equal to zero now same pad x 10 pad y equal to 10 now we'll add event to this so what we will do we'll just copy this two and place it here so let's move up a bit now here these are instead of button let's connect to label first l1 l1 so both we are giving enter and exit so my callback 3 and my callback 4 so these two functions we have to define it again now for that what we will do we will go here at the top callback 1 callback 2 we have done let's copy this and paste it here now we'll make this callback 3 and here the callback 4 now for callback 3 is the event now here l1 we are configuring l1 l1 text is uh, welcome let's say and now make it light blue now here again l1 when the mouse uh, or the when you go move out of the label so text equal to let's thanks and here let's say light gray is supported or not fine so this uh, we have configured the label let's run this and see how this looks so okay previous one is not let me just close this it will open again yeah so here is the label Mo moment i come it is welcome now thanks so light gray now we have seen all three here okay now what we will do we'll put another label here which will take which will with the message will change whenever mouse is over some other means when this mouse is over this particular widget this particular label will change the its value we'll add the one more label here so l2 let me just copy this two and paste it here I'll change this to L2 here below that L2 again and row is 3 so text is uh, instead of label let's say message we'll say the font background is let's say yellow so this is the message what based on the event happening some other widget will give change this message so for that you know button will connect to this so button already we have given the callback function one and two are for the buttons so here let's go up 
here it is so here one more line will write it here l2 dot config what you will say moment the bot mouse is over the button will say text equal to click me fine you want to change the background change it background equal to light yellow okay now when the mouse moves out of the button say moves out so again l2 we are changing l2 config text again we'll say thanks now if you want busy background color light red i don't know whether it is supports or not okay let's see b2 uh, okay now let's check this yeah here is the message now watch this i am coming click me the message has changed there okay the light red is not supported so you have to go for something else uh, l2 light blue let's make it light blue now let's run this again so whenever i am appearing over that click me change was this how the click me the message again gone back thanks again click me and thanks so like that you can generate a help message suppose in your application you want to say whenever you click the click this button you will be registered so here you can give the message uh, click this button to register let's just write that here also you can understand better uh, whenever we are here instead of thing we'll write it click to register something you want to give a help message click to register let's run this sorry we are changed the button no not button here it should have let me just go back here and put click register fine you can give this and let's run this and see here it is now here click to register you can give whatever message you want here something else where it is here similarly you can change that one so like this you can uh, uh, change any message and give a helpful message and all so this is the this is a question asked actually so the based on that this was prepared to understand how a mouse enter or mouse however we call it in jquery and all mouse ever so whenever the mouse enter a widget we can manage the event and give the helpful message if you have any doubt suggestion or question use the comment section below to post it and accordingly we'll change the script and add new new features to this and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that please share this with your friends and thank you for watching